Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Kyle. Kyle's been my student now for a couple months and he took a little bit of a break and he um, is getting back into it now. He has a couple questions relating to the bow grip. So go ahead and, uh, what was your question again? Um, I had to deal with the curvature of the, the pinky um, and the other fingers as well when they're resting on top. Um, if there, you can see from the side, if your hand's over here, even though they're resting, they're not curved. So I asked um, whether your hand was supposed to be over the bow or not to have that curvature in the fingers. So right here versus right here, because I really can't curve my pinky right there even though it's still relaxed on top of the bow. Absolutely. Very good, yeah. So I think what, what Kyle's saying is, okay, what angle do I have my hand when I'm bowing? Is it up here, really up high, or is it down lower? Mm -hmm. um, really, I would um, not think about the the angle as much, but just think about just having your hand as close as you can to the stick. So okay. just really close, kind of like you're about to, like you're grabbing it like this. So like your fingers should be like this. You see how my fingers are curved? Yeah. That's how kind of you should be grabbing the bow. Your fingers should be really close. So they shouldn't be up here. They should be down closer. So kind of more on this angle. Okay. I can see that like that. Now what I want you guys to notice as well is a lot, I actually have a lot of students that they, they grab the bow like this to where their fingers aren't very far down the bow. This promotes tension. So we, what we want to do is we want to bring everything down. So my index finger is pretty much almost touching the bow hair. It's not quite. And then you can see my middle finger is actually farther below the bow. You see that? Mm -hmm. So a lot of students are kind of way up here, which is incorrect. So bring your hand down, and then my pinky's curved. Let's take a look, Kyle. Is that better? It looks a lot better. I think he curved nice. Go ahead and show everybody. That looks excellent. Couldn't be any better. Makes sense being closer to the bow. I think I had some of these other fingers up on top. That's mm -hmm. how I was holding it earlier. But you said these two, are these two right there? Mm -hmm. This one's up. Yep, those are just like that. Okay. Exactly where we have them. Good. So success uh, playing the violin is based very, very highly on the bow grip. So very important to work on this. So just to recap some of these important things, fingers on an angle, fingers farther down the bow, not on top, pinky curved, and then really important, this happens all the time, I see students with a tense thumb, curve that thumb. Kyle, you're actually doing that pretty well. Yeah. Just like that. Key to successful bow grip. Actually, one more thing I want to mention is that when you're doing your bow grip, when you're adjusting the bow grip, I don't suggest doing it in thin air like we were doing. That's, that's a decent way to do it, but it's better to do it while the violin is up and your bow's on the instrument because then the instrument's holding up the bow for you so you don't have to grab as hard. Mm. That's good. So that's uh, really important because otherwise it's going to promote you grabbing the bow too hard. So. Very good. So hope you guys learned something today from our video on bow grip. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me at rivertownviolin at hotmail.com. Thanks so much for watching.